Yes, the N Idol competition began in January. We had over 50 individuals. And probably the most exciting part of this whole process was that last count, I think over 300 of you had actually voted. Hello, my name is Jacob Rapp, and I'm a senior manager of product marketing here at HP. And we were part of the uh, SDN Idol competition here at uh, Open Networking Summit. And we were actually really excited when we first heard about the concept and that it was back again this year. Because we actually had some really exciting new, um, new SDN um, announcements to make. Uh, primarily around our SDN App Store and our open ecosystem. We wanted to open up the community. Because we know what we know with the networking. But we also know at HP some of the most exciting things come out of open innovation. What we're aiming at is, is developing this ecosystem where someone can go in from start to finish, from developing something kind of out of the garage all the way to bring it to market. So what are the tools we need? What do we need to test? How do we need to test it? What do we need to think about scalability, interoperability, all of these things? How do we need to test it? So we're putting in resources there. And then finally, the app store and services, a place to actually bring things to market. That's not only for the largest partners or the largest vendors working in um, software-defined networking or networking in general. We wanted to open this, open this up to a whole community and, and bring all the tools needed to make this enterprise ready. Hi, my name is Mike Schiff and I'm a Product Marketing Manager at Brocade. Brocade is a finalist in the SDN Idol Award, which we are showing today, uh, an application for real-time analytics and the detection of DDoS attacks. What we realized when we talked to several of our customers is that you know, they want SDN, open flow based solutions, to be deployable in today's networks without any change. That means essentially SDN is for delivering value through policy, whereas forwarding happens as today. And that is, and that is a direction we've been you know, taking in building these targeted use cases and cool applications. And that's why we are here with this interesting real-time DDoS mitigation application. Hi guys, uh, my name is Madhu Venugopal. Hey, this is Brent Salisbury. So uh, we were actually doing the SDN Idol uh, demonstration uh, representing Open Daylight. We want to demonstrate actually the uh, OpenStack and Open Daylight integration along with the uh, underlay orchestration as well. So the idea is that uh, today the OpenStack network virtualization misses the flavors uh, kind of application for networks uh, because of the underlay is not visible to the overlay uh, uh, application as personally. We see some importance in having some understanding of what's going on in the underlay obviously because if we, you know, for strictly overlay you know, there can be problems and operating these kind of networks can you know, be problematic at best. So uh, we developed the apps to provide the policy-based uh, underlay orchestration which the overlay uh, tenants can make use of. It's a pure open solution where it's standard-based, OpenFlow 1.3, 1.0 and OVSDB. In fact, it's the only solution that is in the market today or out there in open source. It's completely based on standards. If we think about a year ago, was uh, we were in the same hall and Open Daylight was getting announced. Uh, we've, we've done, done some amazing things. I think we've, uh, yeah. Essentially what our application tries to do is program the network and leverage the capacity of the network to improve uh, overall security posture of an organization. Uh, our application is called Defense Flow and it programs the network to monitor traffic uh, and it analyzes the traffic that is being monitored uh, and based on any deviations from normal traffic patterns it will program the network to divert traffic to purpose-built devices that uh, actually determine good and bad traffic and block the bad traffic. It's been a great experience participating in uh, the SDN Idol challenge this year. It's uh, really one of those uh, things that uh, really brings out uh, mature and good technology and lets uh, kind of democracy rule and uh, decide uh, whether it's good enough and it provides enough value and I really hope we did a, a good job there at showing the value that our uh, application provides. And with uh, no further ado, the winner here is Brocade.